guys welcome back to the channel today is certainly not a good day for uh, the medical sector in the stock market we have medavail holdings a company based out of miso Mississauga. <laughs> i hope i'm saying it right in canada that has lost 26 percent of its stock value today on the, your screen you can see i pulled up the five day graph for uh, medavail holdings and you can see there that, that even though the stock has lost 25 percent today uh, it is still up by quite a significant amount compared to where it was uh, about the same time last week the stock has basically doubled from where it was last week and uh if you are wondering what this company is uh, they style themselves as a technology enabled retail pharmacy company the company produces a kiosk a machine which is like a kiosk that dispenses prescription only medication the company already has this kiosk display deployed in a number of locations and uh, the importance of the kiosks is that you can have uh, medication that requires the presence of a pharmacist uh, that can be dispensed in remote locations in towns that are too small to support a brick and mortar pharmacy and in other specific venues let's say uh, around stadia during a very important uh, event or uh, in uh, let's say very remote uh, places where people are exploring for minerals so it presents a whole slew of opportunity for the company you could further extend this by looking in the future and seeing a possibility where even medical marijuana or cannabis can be dispensed by these machines what is specific about the machines that uh, medavail holding cells is that the there is a link a real-time link between uh, a pharmacist a qualified pharmacist and the end customer so let's say you come to have your prescription filled uh, when you get to the machine you will have a video feed that will put you in touch with a pharmacist in real time and that way they can ascertain that the customer is whom they claim they are and the right medication is being dispensed i think it is a novel way of looking at pharmacies with a lot of uh, things going online these days uh, these it's a very very uh, efficient way of dispensing medication without having a pharmacist physically present at the location in this manner uh, pharmacists can be more efficient by serving multiple locations from one central location so they uh, get the calls coming in and then they can log in and see the various uh, machines or kiosks that are placed in remote areas and uh, that way their time can be efficiently utilized the drop of 26 percent today is quite significant and the question we have is will this slide continue into tomorrow yesterday the stock started low but rose during the day as you can see here on the graph until it culminated at about two dollars uh, 28 cents it started today's session also high and then quickly declined and if we look at the daily graph you can see that it's just been in free fall today's volume so far is close to 3 million average volume is typically about 4.9 million shares that would exchange hands and the 52 week range is from 78 cents all the way up to 14 dollars 59 cents performance outlook for the short and mid term all in the green and long term it is in the red 
So I just wanted to share with you that uh, the medical sector seems to be battered today, whereas they had a mostly stellar uh, end of last week and uh, yesterday. But today they are just being hammered, whereas uh, most of the major indices on Wall Street are in the green today, including crude oil, which is trading above $100. I want to thank you guys for joining me in uh, reviewing MetaVail Holdings. Uh, please, if you are new to the channel and you are enjoying this video and you've made it this far, please consider hitting the thumbs up button below and subscribing to the channel. Uh, we don't go in depth into most of the stocks we review, but uh, what catches our eye is either a stock has increased dramatically in value or it has dropped dramatically in value. And uh, we try to take a quick look and see what might have caused, uh, the, caused the increase or decrease in the stock valuation. Thanks once more and uh, subscribe and like and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye for now.